Everybody, I'm Daryl Patterson, and I am here to declare the high school football regular uh, season in Tennessee over. Tomorrow morning, 200 teams across Tennessee will get an invitation to play in the playoffs, which start next week. District champions and runners-up are assured of a berth in the playoffs. And a lot was at stake in a lot of games tonight. I'm talking about guaranteed playoff spots. Signal Mountain is the District 7 2A champion. Grundy County played at Notre Dame tonight for second place and a guaranteed playoff spot in that one. Dave Staley, the winner is. Well, Darrell, let me put it to you this way. In my little world, I firmly believe we made the right choice tonight, making this our game of the week here live at Notre Dame. The uh, Irish taking on Grundy County for second place, as you said, in the district. In the end, I, I think a lot of us were surprised. No one saw a mercy rule game coming in the second half. It was completely out of hand. Bottom line, Notre Dame with too much depth and way too much speed for the Yellow Jackets. Let's pick up the highlights and show you what we have. Early on, great news for Grundy County. After a Notre Dame turnover to start the game, Grundy on the board. Quarterback Josh Ray, 56 yards. Yeah, that's a touchdown. Extra point is missed. It's six to nothing. Uh, good news, uh, well, touchdown for Grundy County. Bad news, still got to play the rest of the game. Moments later, Notre Dame ties it up. It's Kareem Orr. Running room, see ya. 61 yards, extra point no good. 6-6, six, six, but uh, that kind of opens up the floodgates. Still in the first quarter, the Irish take the lead for good. Quarterback Alex Darris, who's only a freshman, finds Nick Chambers three yards out. It's 13-6, to six, and I believe the route is on. Actually, only 27-14 at the half, but Notre Dame's first possession of the second half Ricky Ballard, two yards, touchdown. Ballard had two scores in the uh, second half. Actually, he was our player of the game, but a number of fighting Irish players could have been. Turns out to be a mercy rule game. Uh, in, in a nutshell, Grundy County really runs out of gas. 62 to 22 is the final. A 40-point blowout for the fighting Irish. They finished the year 8-2 and two, on to the playoffs, and afterwards, head coach Charles Fant said he liked it a whole lot. We knew we had to put up a good defensive effort, uh, but we came into the game wanting to establish the run, but then we just started throwing the ball, and, and, and everything started working, and, and we started moving the ball faster, so it was exciting to see how well we were able to do on offense. I just think the effort from our team versus their team was the difference in this game tonight. Did you expect this kind of a game coming in? Yeah, we expected a hard fight tonight. Uh, at least in the first half, it was a hard fight. Got out of hand in the second half. Again, 62 to 22. As for Grundy County, finishing the year at five and five, three and two in the district. We'll find out tomorrow if the Yellow Jackets are in the playoffs. What 200 some teams go? They probably are in. Too many teams in the playoffs, but that's another story. Again, interesting game tonight. But Daryl, as I send it back to you, the regular season is in the books. That's the story for now. Dave Staley reporting live from Notre Dame.